Welcome to King's Spotlight. We are joined today by King's Field Hockey standouts Brianna DiMaggio and Paige Tedek, who along with her teammates will compete in the MAC Freedom Conference Tournament starting Wednesday. Ladies, thank you for joining us today and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. The King's Field Hockey team is the number two seed for the conference tournament and will be hosting third seed in Manhattanville in the semifinals on Wednesday. But before we get to that game, let's take a quick look back at the season. Kings finished the regular season with an 11 and 6 overall record and played a very competitive non-conference schedule. Included in that schedule is a 2-1 to loss to a Muhlenberg College team that is 15 and 2, a 2-1 to loss to an 18 and 1 Alvernia team that is ranked 15th nationally, and a 5-1 to loss to Salisbury University that is 14 and 1 and ranked second in the nation. How did your non-conference schedule impact your team's goals for the season and then prepare you for your games? I mean, I definitely think that it gave us a really good competition because, I mean, a lot of teams like to play easier teams for non-conference just to get wins. I feel like our coaches schedule it so that we play some of the hardest teams, like you said. We play second in the nation, Salisbury, and a bunch of other nationally ranked teams. It gives us such good practice and like preparation for non or for actual conference games. And going off of what Bree said, it really puts us in check of our level of play and what we can play with. So it can definitely gives us the edge over some of the teams that we're going to be facing in conference. Brianna, you are the leading scorer on a team with 27 points, with 12 goals and three assists. The Kings has other weapons as well. Sophomore Kelsey Gabriel has 26 points on 10 goals and 6 assists. Senior Caitlin Wood has 21 points on 9 goals and 3 assists. And junior Selena Malakari contributes 15 points on 6 goals and 3 assists. Talk about the Kings offense and how it has been able to work so well together. I mean, we've been playing for a few years together now. And I feel like we just play so well with each other. We just know how the other one plays. We obviously we communicate with each other, but we kind of just we just coincide so well with each other. We work so well together. We just know where to go. And I don't know. I feel like we're all we all have the same mindset when we play. We're all so aggressive. So I think that that definitely helps us. And Paige, as a starting goalie, you are the last line of defense and are allowing just 1.4 goals a season. But while you have been a steady player in goal, the Kings defense has also been solid as the team as a whole has only allowed 8.5 shots per game. Mm -hmm. Talk about the players you have in front of you and how the defense has been able to come together as a unit. Well, on the le my left side, we have Sam Sharon, who just outworks every player that comes in her way. Nicole in the middle, who is a solid force, who just takes the ball right up and sends it up. And Haley doesn't want anybody past her. So just all together, we know each other. We work well together. Um, just overall dictation of the circle. And we don't out literally allow anybody to get in there. As you said, the stats are proof. So. Ladies, in 2012, that was the last time Kings made the playoffs after having previously qualified for eight straight seasons. How does it feel to return the program to a level that it had been experiencing for a long period of time? It definitely feels good. Um, it's very refreshing to be able to make it to postseason. Um, we haven't gotten there in about four years, and it just feels really good, I think. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time I've seen postseason since I've been at Kings, and it is a great feeling. It's so exciting. The atmosphere is so different. We haven't even made it to the game yet, but the atmosphere has just completely changed because everyone has the same goal. Mm -hmm. We're all looking for the same thing, and it's, it's a great feeling. It's so awesome. Longtime Kings assistant coach Martha Carrick became the head coach after 15 years as an assistant to Cheryl Ish, who stepped down last week to focus on her duties as director of athletics at Kings. Martha has been a head coach at three other places. So what was the transition like for someone who you were already very familiar with as a coach, but you also knew had a great deal of experience? I mean, I think that all of us always looked at her as such a great coach, along with Cheryl. And I think that she stepped up very well. She still does the same thing she's always done with us. She sees literally every single thing on the entire field. I have no idea how she does it. And as soon as I come off the field, she'll be like, you did this 20 minutes ago. Like, she she still has that same mentality, and we love it so much. 
the great thing about Martha is that she always has something to say for every individual player and it's personalized and I think just that alone makes her a great coach and going off of what Bree said she sees everything on the field and has great input and really encourages us to be at our best 24-7 the first minute to the last minute of every game. Well this year's semifinal opponent is Manhattanville, a team that you lost to 3-1 to one on the road back on October 1st. In that game, Kings outshot Manhattanville 21-8, to eight, but was not able to take advantage of its opportunities. What do each of you remember about that game? I remember um, just having, we weren't really working together that well. Um, back on defense, uh, I myself uh, couldn't really stop some of the shots that were coming down on us. Um, but this time is going to be completely different. We're really going to work well together. We've been practicing specifically for this reason, for this game on uh, Wednesday and we're just going to, on defense, defensive, and we're just going to give it our all and dictate the circle and not let nothing in. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that we're a completely different team than we were when we played Manhattanville last time. We've grown so much from that. We've, we forgot it, we left it in the past, we moved on from it, and now we're ready to show them who we really are. And I definitely think that offensively we're going to take every shot we can going to make sure we put them in. The winner of Wednesday's semifinal will play for the Freedom Conference title on Saturday at the site of the highest remaining seed. Paige, you are a senior. What would it mean to you to win this game and play either FDU or Wilkes for the conference championship in your final year? It would be really nice, picture perfect almost. Um, it would be just right if, I, because it's my last year, um, just to win it and picture perfect really. <laughs> Well, ladies, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us, and the best of luck to you and the King's College field hockey team when you host Manhattanville College in the Freedom Conference semifinals at home Wednesday night at 7 p.m. at McCarthy Stadium. Thank, Thank you. you.